Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I am super excited. We're taking a look at an entry level motorhome that's under 30 feet with bunk beds. This is the 2020 Integra Coach Vision Model 29F. We are gonna take a look at the outside features first, then the inside features, then we're gonna give you three things we love about this motorhome and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. to another video my name is Matt from Matt's RV Reviews it's the world's only channel that gives you that true unbiased review about everything when it comes to RVs and again today I am super excited we're taking a look at Integra Coach's entry-level motorhome with bunk beds I've been getting a lot of requests about this and I'm just super excited to show it to you but I'm even more excited because we got our brand new camera equipment so let's say hi to Andrea hey Andrea How's it going? Good, I'm just getting used to this new camera, so everybody bear with me. That's pretty complicated looking camera equipment. It is. I'm not gonna lie. Listen folks, I'm not gonna lie. This crap is so freaking, <laughs> it's, you, you need a PhD to run this. I really do. So yeah. I really hope the audio and the video comes out well. I guess we'll see. Because <laughs> this GoPro, I mean, I could freaking throw this thing, you know. One and, thing's for sure, guys, I am, I am gonna be building bicep muscles holding this. Oh yeah. Rather than the GoPro. All right, so let's begin. So let's begin. And again, big thanks to everybody who purchased a Matt and Andrea sticker. Thank you guys so much for your support. Model is 29F. But the actual tip to tip length is 32 feet 2 inches. This is an Integra Coach Vision, again, entry level. But what I love about all Integra coaches is this front headlight design. I think it looks aggressive. I like the look there. Also, for those of you who don't know, this is going to be your same thing as your J. Coalante. Also, why I love Integra Coach is because they have the biggest windshields that curve 120 inches. Coming down the side here. Uh, this front part is painted, okay, um, but the rest is stickers and decals. This is on the Ford V10 engine. The tire size is 245-70R19.5, okay? Again, entry-level motorhome. Right here, you have a little bit of storage. Let me get that tire one more time. Yep. All right. Right there, you have a little bit of storage. And I do like how it's these slam latch doors. Coming down here, man, look at that TV and the entertainment center. I absolutely love that. Like that, that's a good size TV. Oh yeah. And then you have some storage there. Nice pass through. Oh, that's a great size storage actually. And you have some storage right here. Very nice. Also, you have a nice power awning with LED lights. Let's take a look at that when it's all the way out. I love it. Wow, and nice power awning with LED lights. Look at the pattern underneath. Yes, very nice. Huge awning. Frameless windows throughout this whole motorhome. Huh. Also, because this is an Integra coach, you have the two year warranty with the three year structural. Give me one second. I'm still trying Hit to show. Hit the double trigger. I'm just trying to show the awning. There we go. That's right. one of my favorite patterns. Perfect. Again, sorry folks, learning curves here. Now stop, just hit the double trigger. Nope, you did it three times. <laughs> Hang on. Up. Now, now you got to redo it three times. One, two, three. Sorry, guys. And then do it twice. Okay. All right. Good job. <laughs> this stuff's Thank so complicated. Thank you for your patience, guys. Right here is your propane tank. 12.2 uh, pounds of propane or gallons. I forget what it is. You have your LP Quick Connect right there and your battery. Also, we will have all the specifications about this motorhome. Lengths, tank sizes, widths, everything down in the description below. Very nice, look at that. Great amount of storage on this. That is great. I like how it has the two big pass-throughs. Yeah, especially for, you know, a price point motorhome. Look at home. that, no, more storage. Yeah, very nice. Coming around the back, you do have a nice bumper for your stinky slinky, I love that. You have a 5,000 pound hitch, and this motorhome can tow 5,000 pounds. 
backup camera up there. Also, you have a one-piece fiberglass roof. Let's go up there and take a look. Oh boy. Here we go now. Whoa. I really got you at a weird angle. Hold on. Great. Up here on the roof, you can see there's not one, but there is two air conditioning units. I absolutely love that in this price point of a motorhome. Also, just like all the other Integra coaches, you have a one-piece fiberglass roof. Right up there is your King Air digital antenna. And right there, you can see that it is prepped for solar. Oh, gosh. Multitasking, huh? Uh-huh. Hold on now. Here we go. I am not getting a good, hold, I did not get a good angle. Okay, it's okay, I got Great. you. Great, and if you haven't already, make sure you smash that thumbs up button. What well, the RV salesman's gonna take his fat ass up on the roof, show you what features the roof has to offer. Nobody. Nobody. Great, so if you haven't already gotten your Matt and Andre sticker, again, we're not selling them, but you can get your official Matt's RV review sticker. Bing! We are now selling it on my website, mattsrvreviews.com. So just go to the website, mattsrvreviews.com, or click the link down in the description below. We appreciate it. Thanks, guys. Finishing up with the outside, 50 amp motorhome. Big improvement. Big improvement, 50 amp motorhome. I absolutely love that. Coming down here. Man, look at that. The other Andrea. side. This has a ton of storage. It sure does. Right here's your fuel fill up, 80 gallon fuel capacity. Look at that, great place to dump your black and gray tank. I love that. Cool. Over here. Oh, beautiful. Oh, this is one of my favorites. This is how it should be done. This is your uh, wet base station and everything. Very nice. And then finally, this is the other side of your storage. Here's a Cummins Onan. 5,500 generator and a little bit more storage up front. Oh, we didn't even mention uh, the cam mirrors right here and there is cameras integrated in the side. Well, the outside of this motorhome looks great, but the inside looks even better. Let's go take a look. Hold on, Skippy. So when I move, do I have to move really slow? No, okay. that's what the gimbal's awesome. for. I don't like how this thing has a mind of its own. I wish it would just stay still. Nice. See how it won't, I don't like how it won't stay still. Well, it's turning like you're turning. Okay, as you can see, I got plenty of walkway to get to the bathroom. Yep. And check this out. I go into the bathroom and I can still get into the bedroom. So even with the slide in, you could still access the bed here. Yep. And I'm gonna go out this way. And Andrea, what I like about this is it's a very simple motorhome, one full wall slide. I absolutely love that. Okay, up here in the passenger area. See, now you're gonna okay, hold tilt on. it down. Nope, with your thumb, because I'm at two. Got it. Got <laughs> yeah, it. I'm good. <laughs> Up here in the driver's area, it's your typical cockpit, entry-level motorhome. You got your screen, your dash, your Bluetooth, everything right here. Also, you do have your auto leveling. I do like how everything's within arm reach, and you could just push a button. Then over there in the passenger seat, Andrea. Yes. Okay. Got a cup holder here. Yep. Uh, what's weird is, didn't they used to have a... Nope. Nope. Um, not in the visions. Okay, I do like this. It, I kind of feel like I'm in a diesel for some reason. Really? Well, no, just the way it's set up right here. That's how I feel. Yep. Oh, also, my seat is power seat. But this one is not. Correct. Nice. And you got shades here. Uh-huh. Cup holder. Place for the pedestal table. Yep. These do swivel around. Yep. Part of the living area. And then why don't you show the bunk over the cab? All right. So here the, is the bunk. Were you on? on? Alright, let's see guys. See if I learn my lesson. <laughs> Normally I have a hard time. So this bunk holds a whopping 750 pounds. Oh, we love that. The biggest in the RV industry. And as you can see, you know, you could probably fit two people up here. Good yep. size bunk.
All, All right. right. Okay. Why don't you show this dinette area? Okay, well. so over here we have the dinette. Um, got a nice window here, balance. We got a, a shade here, two uh -huh. cup holders, USB, and electrical outlet. And guess what? What? This has a televator. Oh, find the switch. Ba -da -da. Great da -da. placement. Okay. Very nice. All right. Very nice. At least you can have the TV and everybody can watch it at the same time. This does drop down to make a bed. Yep. Um, Is there storage can... underneath the seats? Probably yes. not under that one. Not this one. Or maybe under hole. that one. Yeah, it has a hole. Perfect. Also, you can see the vents are not in the floors. Yep. No storage on this side. You're right. So, Andrea, I'm yes. going to have you finish up the reveal on the inside. Okay. Because I'm trying to learn the camera, so and then that way me. I can help you. <laughs> okay. So, over here we have a sofa and another big window with the shade. Yep. Pull that shade up, please. Very nice. Check out these hidden, hidden cabinetry. Very nice. Which is kind of strange that, you know, they do it's, that. In it's the not hidden hinge. It's not? No. Oh, you're right. It just looked like it. All right. Nice big deep cabinets yeah, too. Yeah, nice big deep cabinets. Oh snap! What's the cargo carrying capacity? Twenty thousand. No. Nope. Sixty. Uh, uh, Two thousand sixty-seven pounds. Nice. <laughs> and this does jackknife to make a. It does switch into a jackknife bed here if you need to sleep somebody on it. As you can see, the two seat belts. Oh. There we go. All right. Very so, nice. So yeah, one maybe two kids. Yeah. Oh. It's usually not this hard. It's just I'm a little weak this morning. There we go. All right. All right. Here. Andrea. Yes. It's now time for the MSRP. Burr, 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 burr. MSRP on this motorhome is. One hundred thirty nine thousand. $202 MSRP. Wow. Sale price, we have it 29% off MSRP to $99,999. That's now, incredible. That's a good sale price, but that's not a great sale price. Andre, tell everybody how they can get a great sale price. You can call, you can text, you can email, or you can FaceTime. Hey, 301-906-0962 or mattsrvreviews at gmail.com. Or check out my website, mattsrvreviews.com. Let's continue the video. And guys, there are cabinets in there underneath the bunk. We just forgot about those. It's okay. Okay, so here we have the kitchen. I do like these cabinets. Usually I'm not a fan, but uh -huh. I like the dark cabinets. It looks good in here. Very love the nice. Candles. Nice tower of power here. I love the tower of power. We have a farmhouse sink. Oh, yeah. One of my favorite features, and I think I say it in every video, is how important this is to me, especially if we're camping. Yep. Um, underneath, we have a, an extension. Very nice. And then we have drawers. Can you still see that? Yep, nice drawers. Big one down here. Drawers. Come over here, we have a cabinet underneath the sink. Oh yeah. And then we have two cap. did I show these? Yep. Oh, I did, oh my goodness. Cabinet above this. Huge microwave. Oh, yeah. And a three burner cooktop with glass topper. Check out the backsplash. I like that. And yep. it's not cheap. Nope, it's nice. We've got an oven. Very nice. And another big drawer for pots and pans. Nice. That's a good one. Over here we have a camp fridge. This is two way, right? Or three? No, it's probably three way. Two-way fridge. Two-way. Propane and electric. And here's, an, oh, look at this. I like that. Very nice. Another little one down here. Uh -huh. Plenty of cabinets. Little storage in here. Here's your panel. Thermostat. And Show then, the bunk areas. Here we go. Why don't you get in there? Okay, I will. <laughs> Hold on. We got the bunks. You have a window in each bunk along with the TV. Yep. Shades. And privacy curtains. So I'm going to get in here. Let's see. Sometimes they're shorter, but oh yeah, doable for me. All right. And, yeah. Perfect. Very nice. 
Then you and got then, a little bit of storage yes, underneath. Yes, we have drawers under here. And then one more. All right, show the master bedroom. All right, here we go into the master bedroom. We need lights. Here they are. All right, so check out the bed. Now, this is a little queen size bed, isn't it? So we got storage under here. No? Oh, uh, yeah, we do. Okay. Very nice. Cabinets above the bed. I like this. At least they gave you the option of putting in an actual little tiny nightstand. Yep. Electrical outlet. Reading lamps. Cabinets up here. Very Two nice. on the other side. Very nice. Love how that does blue and white. Uh-huh. And then you got over here as well. Very nice. There I also is... like this rear window here. Yes makes it not as claustrophobic there is another little uh, tiny yep. nightstand over there as well okay so across from the bed we have uh -huh. <laughs> you go that way we have a wardrobe oh very nice it's a nice big wardrobe nice big wardrobe one yep. big drawer underneath okay and over here check this out that's interesting i guess this is where your coax is for your TV and electrical outlet. Yep, so, so you can put a TV there. And then we have, look at all these drawers. Show them. We got five drawers. Very nice. Look at this, two big ones oh, on yeah. the bottom. There you go. That's that's a lot of cabinets in that's here. That's a lot of drawers. For especially how small it feels. Now I'll show them the bathroom. And you do have a pocket door. Yep, for the bathroom. And Going the bedroom. That way. Oh, sorry. Hello. Hi. All right. Check out the shower. And I'm a fan of these showers, but Matthew is not a fan of them. So it is a little shower, though. As you can see, plenty of headroom here. Yep. Nice. Actually, this is a nice shower head. Got a shelf, faucets. So I, I have plenty of space in here. All right. Check out the sink. Nice big medicine cabinet with three shelves. Can you see it? Yep. You got a cute little tiny sink, towel holder. Very nice. Sponges, cabinet underneath. Yep. And you do have a max, or you got a regular fan up here. Perfect. And then over here above the toilet, there is a small little cabinet. All right. And Matthew, would you yep. like to do the toilet test? Time for the toilet test. All right, let me get in the shower. It's now time for the toilet test. Oh no! Plastic? Plastic! Really? Womp, womp, womp! That's a shame. You know why? Yep. Look at this. This is a nice prime pooping position. I like the toilet yep. placeholder there. I agree. I cannot believe they put plastic in this. That's a crying shame. I I'm actually really surprised. I thought it would be porcelain. Yep. It's all good. Well, Andrea, it's now time that we give people. Three things we love about this motorhome and three things we dislike about it. What should we do first? Three things that we... Double trigger. There we go. <laughs> three things that we dislike about it. Okay, well first, I'm going to say this bathroom. As you guys know, I'm not a fan of that shower type and I'm not a fan of plastic toilets. And it's a shame because they could have made this toilet better and then it wouldn't have happened. Right. Great, so that's one. Two, we'll be out here. Second thing I don't like about this motorhome is I don't like how these bunks flip up. Personally, I'm just not a fan of that. Or, no, wait, they don't flip up. Yeah, I wish they would yeah. flip up out of the way. For closet space. So they can make closet space. The TVs are there, that's why. Well, no, it's not because there's other bunks with TVs. Um, It's just they, they should have made it on a pivot. So it could have been convertible. So that's two. And then three. Andrea, do you have a dislike? Um, Actually, I don't right now. I'm so concentrated on video recording you. Right. I Actually, I do. I don't okay. like that refrigerator. I feel like... I feel like they could have put in a... The, the, the metallic silver looking one. Yep. Instead of this weird looking wood. Okay. I mean, so that's a dislike. I, yeah, that's... I think it would look way better. All right. Yeah. Now it's time for three things we love about this motorhome. I 
love actually this floor plan. Yep. I love how I can sit here uh -huh. and watch TV and not yep. have to crane and hurt my neck. And also the seating, you know, I like that it gives you the dinette and the seating. I still can sit here and watch TV. I also love how it's a small motor home with bunk beds. Yes. You know, it's going to be good for state and national parks. Again, tip to tip length is 32, but people call it a 29 oh. footer. So I, I, I do can, love yeah, that. Absolutely. You still have, you know, the availability you can get in there. And, you know, you still have room. Uh, national parks as well. Two? We're going outside. Okay. Matt's taking over the camera now. <laughs> Andrea is like, really huh. Andrea is recording. frustrating me. <laughs> no. <laughs> Two, um, show the storage. I love the amount of storage on the outside here. This is absolutely amazing. Um, you, you don't find that in entry-level motorhomes. You know, entry-level motorhomes, you know, it's more... You know, they give you the cheaper chassis and you don't have the storage. Also, I'm a big fan of the slam latch doors. Yes. Even though they're fiberglass, I'm still a huge fan of that. You know what we didn't touch on? What? Look at that water heater. Yeah. Eh. Dislike. Dislike. <laughs> and then the third thing I really love about this motorhome is the quality construction. I love the bumper, right? And I love how it has a nice one-piece fiberglass roof. And uh, a place for your stinky slinky. Yep, absolutely. Here you go, Andrea. Well, that's it. That's the review. Thanks so much. Sorry about the little frustration with the camera work. We love the brand new camera. It's just going to take a little bit of work to learn how to use it. If you have any questions about this motorhome, please call, text, send me an email. It is mattsrvreviews at gmail.com or my personal cell, 301-906-0962. Or check out my website, mattsrvreviews.com. We have the stickers for sale to help support the channel and everything. Andre, you have anything you want to say? Yes. Guys, let us know the three likes that you have about this RV and your three dislikes. We're always interested to see what you say, and I know Integra reads it. Also, thank you for your patience with me. It will take me a little bit, but I'll get it down. Don't worry with the new camera. Uh, Thanks for right. watching. Thanks so much for watching. Andrea. We'll see you next time!